Okay, so in this uh, video what I'd like to do is to uh, illustrate where you could find VBA code directly from the internet. Uh, one possibility is just to follow the link on my uh, YouTube page and typically that will bring you into the OneDrive. Uh, in most instances when I do a video I try to link the video. Um, here you can see it's not. This is uh, Microsoft provides online uh, Office, um, but an issue sometimes arises in terms of uh, implementation of um, a VBA. So if the if the function in this case the Black Scholes call the Black Scholes put if that's set up in VBA. Um, it's not implemented however the manual uh, calculation is so to access the original file just hit download and the file now is um, actually downloaded so if you could see that so go into download find the file and the file has opened up so enable macros and bring the file into view and the file is there and if we want to uh, get the code directly go to the developer tab go to editor and you can see um, the visual basic editor pops up and I'll try to bring that into view. <coughs> and the code is here. So we have declaration of the variable <coughs> and we have set out uh, the, the call and, and the pot. Close that down a little bit, and uh, the function here is BSC, and the function then is set equal to, and this is consistent with uh, Black Scholes formula. So if you copy that and put it into your own Visual Basic editor, that's fine. Um, another possibility uh, is to let's close this down. Is to go into uh, carry back and carry back allows you to he has written a textbook on derivatives using VBA and okay a course in derivative securities and if we come down to his web, web page we can go to Excel workbook and again it has down so we go into uh, downloads and open up again enable macros because uh, what we have essentially is uh, so I just resize the workbook the Excel spreadsheet and if I go into uh, Black Shoals tab you can see here that we have formulas for uh, Black Shoals and some of the, the Greeks as well uh, um, so <coughs> this worksheet is has a number of items. Uh, first thing, this Excel I've opened up in uh, in Macintosh, so um, the format is quite different to the usual Microsoft um, Office that you have in Windows. Uh, Office for Mac uh, format is different, um, but if we want to access the Developer tab, we just go to Developer and then Visual Basic Editor 
and then we have this uh, project explorer and as it turns out in using the carry back uh, download I can access uh, the uh, VBA formula by going to developer tab and chapter 3, this is where the modules are located and then we want to view the code and uh, the code appears and uh, the code here is slightly different to uh, the setup um, and the formula that I used on the OneDrive but again you can see relatively clearly here it's Black Scholes call you do your declarations if the sigma is equal to zero then you, you get a an intrinsic type value discounted otherwise d1 uh, d2 calculated the usual way uh, and then so similar type structure to what i had before if you have an apostrophe in front of the text you enter uh, this is a good way of uh, narrating or describing what's going on in your code. Okay, so that's that's using Macintosh and it's how you access a VBA code. How did we get the code? I went to curryback.net derivatives, htm. I clicked on this uh, link. It will bring me through, it will open up uh, a fairly replete a spreadsheet carry back uh, textbook let's have a look at that again a course in the rib security is very good uh, all round type text for derivatives so perhaps once you've um, done an introductory course on derivatives if you want to then develop a VBA uh, component to that one possibility is to um, use carry backs textbook every chapter is replete with um, a worksheet and every worksheet typically will have uh, developer code so if you want to access developer code for black shows developer visual basic editor chapter 3 and here we have a uh, code for black shows call and black shows put likewise if we double click for Chapter 4, it's a chapter on volatility, and some GART simulations are set up um, as macros instead of being functions, actually, they are macros. Uh, chapter 5, uh, Monte Carlo type um, uh, calculations uh, in VBA. So it's very, very replete, complete textbook with a lot of uh, illustrations and very user user friendly um, so that's one location another interesting location where uh, you can find code is uh, Volupta and uh, Volupta is uh, a website it's set up by Fabrice Rouen and we can click and we can look at now <clears throat> it just turns out here at the moment that when I double click on this it doesn't seem to be active there is uh, the C++ uh, portal is still active and there's a lot of code there as well and uh, I plan to have a look at this at a later stage uh, but sometimes when you get to this website when you double click on the VBA it is live and there's a host of VBA code as well available uh, for in spreadsheet um, also um, good textbook another textbook um, that provides you with a really good code is uh, Fabrice's own textbook uh, option pricing models volatility using Excel VBA and again similar to um, Kerry Back's book uh, in that every chapter has a set of uh, Excel spreadsheets um, spreadsheet mimics what's the content of the, the chapter um, another textbook that's also quite good is the complete guide to option pricing formulas and um, 
this book is more like a manual um, and a variety of different, uh, a bigger variety of formula are looked at. But the template book is slightly different in that uh, each formula kind of stands alone. And for every formula, for every uh, option pricing formula that was developed, then a series of tweaks was also uh, elaborated. And uh, the book comes with a complete um, spreadsheet, set of spreadsheets. So these are sources that I found really, really good. Now, in, if we set this up in Windows, <coughs> and open up <coughs> in a windows based uh, interface we have excel again the curry back spreadsheet if i go to black shoulds you can see that uh, again the same type of uh, spreadsheet but it's in it's for office for windows to get uh, we don't have a developer tab here to get the developer tab we go to file options and then we come down to um, customize ribbon click on the developer tab click ok and the developer tab is here and to get to visual basic um, we we'll just resize here the project explorer come down to the modules and open up and chapter 3 again and again we can see by resizing the resizing um, the Visual Basic Editor, we can access the code and view the code as is necessary. <coughs>